two yards. There the Eagles are back with it a score. Coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game, but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass. And teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game, but they come back and make them later on. They miss tackles, right? They miss making plays, but the spotlight is magnified on your quarterback. So when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier, they feel great about that guy. And likewise for him personally as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on the kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Over first and 10. At their own 17. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. <laughs> On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. A gain of eight yards. And it's third down. On third down, Taylor. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. He's brought it's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chain. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to 7. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. Jonathan a gain of three, second down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Taylor. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Throwing Rivers. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That gain on third down, good for 28. 28-yard gain. First down, Indianapolis. On first down, it's Taylor. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. A gain of 11 on the man. Now Taylor. First down, Colts. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Rivers going to give this one to Taylor. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage. But every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Touchdown. Jonathan Taylor as the first half is winding down. And the Colts add on to their lead. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for, they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Taken in the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. 
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead and they will receive the football. Taken about seven yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First down. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. The last run got six. Now second and four. They'll try to throw here. Rivers. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs. Taking their time and making it work. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And some room to maneuver. He's got daylight. He's at the 30. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, 64 yards. And the Colts.